So you know I love the Sony ZV-1. It's my go-to travel camera. And I really love the fact that it's got a built-in ND filter. That means that you can shoot in some bright sunlight and you can dial that f-stop down so you can get some nice blurry backgrounds. The problem is though, is that it's just on or off. And I find a lot of the time if we're out in sunshine, we really can't dial down, even with the ND filter on, we can't dial it down enough to get those nice blurry backgrounds and get it all the way down to f1.8. So today I've got a bit of a hack for you. We're gonna actually apply a thread adapter to the ZV-1 because you can't screw uh, an ND filter on here. And then we're gonna apply a variable ND filter to see how much this can improve the image quality coming out of the Sony ZV-1. So let's get to work. So the first thing we're gonna actually need to do is actually physically stick the filter adapter onto the ZV-1 because there's no thread adapter here on the ZV-1. So we're actually gonna to have to use this 3M sticky tape to put this on. A little bit scary, but let's see how it goes. So now I'm gonna do my best to line this up with the front of the camera. Let's see if we can get this perfect. right there I hope because now we probably can't take it off but let's see so that's edit the thread let's turn this off see if it goes back down yeah and that's what it looks like with it on the front of your camera this will probably take 10 minutes or so to set and then we can screw on the ND filter okay now we're gonna get the KNF concept ND filter out as always, we'll put a link in the description to all of these products. There we go. So this is the bad boy. This is the variable ND filter, and I'm trying to be very careful not to actually touch that lens. So this is a 52 millimeter thread, and this matches the JJC thread filter adapter we've bought. So essentially now, we've given it a few minutes to set, now this should screw onto the front of the Sony ZV-1. Okay, so now we've got it installed. Let's go outside and take some test shots to see how much this improves the Sony ZV-1. Okay, so we've got the f-stop at f10, and as you can see, the background isn't that blurry. So the advantage of the ND filter is if we switch it down now, we're gonna put the ND filter to the max, we're gonna put the f-stop as low as we can, and hopefully we can get that f1.8, which means we get a nice blurry background. Okay, so now we're f1.8, what do you think? Has it made a difference to the background? Does it look a little bit more cinematic than before? So it also helps when you're vlogging as well because you can really dial in this ND filter and as you can see, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit there, uh, it means I can shoot at f1.8. And that means if you're walking around a town or an airport, all of the people in the background will be out of focus. And that's what you want. You want all of the focus to be on you or the subject. You don't want everyone else who's in shot to be in focus in the background. So we're back in the studio and it just started to rain um, as we were doing our last few shots. But we're back in and we've had a look on the iMac um, of some of the footage coming from the ZV-1 with the ND filter. And I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. I think it does do a 10 times better job than the built-in ND filter because as we mentioned in the intro, you can only turn that on or off. So with this one, you have a full variable control. Now there is one negative which is potentially quite a big issue. If you rotate the dial too far, you'll notice you get almost a black cross appear within the ND filter, which will of course cover up your shot. So you wanna keep a lookout for that. There is a guide here on the side of the ND filter, but to be honest, it doesn't seem to match up with what's actually happening um, 
through the lens on your ND filter. So what I would say is keep an eye on that. If you keep within the boundaries of the minimum and the maximum, you'll be absolutely fine. It does a great job. And as you can see in some of the shots, it really gave us the ability to recover the sky when with the regular ND filter built in, you couldn't do that. And also for vlogging, for pieces to camera where you're talking to camera and you want the background to be more out of focus, it's gonna do a much better job than that. Obviously the downside is that you have to stick this to your ZV-1, which can be a little bit scary, but I like that it doesn't add too much extra width. You know, this will still fit in most camera bags fine. You know, maybe it makes it a little bit wide now for your pocket, but you know, I'll take this to get more cinematic shots anytime. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions about this or you want to check it out, check out the links in the description below and also leave us a comment if you've got any questions too. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.